for like rising female artists, especially considering like multi-talented like directions and pursuits. Because I know you do film and yes. producing and all. Um, I mean, it's it's a much better time now. You know, it's, it's the best it's ever been in terms of if the um, world being much more aware of trying to give equal opportunities to women in, in the business. And um, there really have been great strides in the last couple of years in terms of the studio's expectations of people to hire female directors on television, which is a big deal. Um, so there's the opportunities are really starting to present themselves. And um, I think. You know, whether you're a man or a woman, you you have to be prepared. You know, you have to really dive into what you love and and do everything you can to be as trained and, and prepared for opportunities for when they come. So, I don't know that this is necessarily just female advice. It'd be like just advice Anyone in the business, which is just you don't know when your break's going to happen and you don't know when the opportunities are going to come. So you need to always be ready. You need to always be working on the projects that you believe in. You need to be writing your own things, creating your own things, figuring out what it is that you want to say. And so then, when that opportunity is presented to you, you're not caught off guard, and then that opportunity passes you. You want to be ready. You yeah. know, and it's the people who really are like poised and ready that it might not happen tomorrow it might happen in a year it might happen in two years but you have to be ready for when that happens so yeah. that would be the advice I would give absolutely I feel like you have something else to say about that like even being ready as an actor like to take advantage of opportunities I think it's yeah I think it's it's important you know it's a difficult business overall for us up to try and succeed in and you know you have to add, for, for me I think it's it's mostly about self-belief and if you really feel like you've got something that you can offer that you can bring and that you feel passionate about then that's it's important to focus on that mostly when you're at your lowest more okay. so than, than so ever. So what are things you do when you're at your lowest? Well for, for me when I used to be out of work there were points where you sort, of, you sort of go maybe this is the wrong career for me maybe I need to stop and now I've always been lucky that you know, my wife and my family and stuff will always be very supportive. Um, but you have to try and remember the reasons that you, you're doing it in the first place and yeah. what it is that you love about about, about your craft, whether it's acting or writing or yeah. whatever, because it happens to everybody. Um, and, and sort of to, to try and, and, you know, spur yourself on and, and remember that there is there is a reason you are doing it for for the right reasons if you are doing it for the right reasons. Yeah, but right. you know what I mean. Fame, right? That's for fame, yeah. <laughs> no, 